Ahoy there, Captain Benzi here, coming at you with another video for Eve Echoes. In today's video, we're going to be discussing nanocores, taking a first look at what this exciting new system is, how it works, and why you might want to add them to your ship. Now, this is completely exclusive to EVE Echoes. You will not find nanocores in EVE Online, which personally I find really exciting. I love it when EVE Echoes does something completely different to EVE Online and adds something completely unique like this. Now, this isn't a full Catskull Academy lesson on nanocores, as we don't have full implementation of them yet. Many of them are impossible to get in the game currently because of various different issues, which we will talk about later on in this video. So we're going to cover what nanocores are, how they work and how you can use them, how you can currently get some of them, and then we're going to talk about the controversy around them currently, because as I said, they're only half implemented and there have been a few problems with this, and I think it's important to honestly and openly discuss discuss the issues with that and how we can fix this going forward. So, if you are interested in nanocores, please make sure you are subscribed to the channel because there will be a full Catskull Academy lesson on them when they are fully implemented with the ability to loot the materials required and the ability to actually reverse engineer and build them yourself. Anyway, without further ado then, let's jump right in to talking about nanocores. Currently, the only way to get nanocores in EVE Echoes is via the Concord Pass. Further down the line, we are going to have the capability to reverse engineer nanocores out of various different pieces of data, etc., that we can loot from Nihilus space, but for now, the only way to get them is via the Concord Pass event. Now, at level 5 on the basic tracker here is a Breeze nanocore supply box, which will give you one of the Breeze nanocores completely randomly. Other than this, as you're leveling up the Concord Pass, you will earn what are called Concord Credits, and these can be spent in the Concord Credit Shop, which you can either access by tapping on the Concord Credit icon here in the top right, or just by coming straight to the New Eden store and scrolling down to Concord Pass Shop at the bottom. And I think it's about level 32, if you've got the advanced tracker, that you're going to start having enough to do some of the things like the battleships and the battle cruiser and thermomagnetic ones, and they're the ones we're going to focus on mainly here. If we look through the store here, you can see that there is a thermomagnetic nanocore for Deep Breath, Armageddon, Apocalypse, Prophecy, Drake, Raven, Ferox, Rock, Megathron, Myrmidon, Hyperion, Nereus, Hurricane, Tempest, Cyclone, Maelstrom, Procurer, and Coveter. Woo. Now, we might get more of these later on. There used to be a Dominix one, for example, but that does seem to have been removed. Um, I don't feel that the Dominix needed it, and certainly the, the, the bonuses were weird. I hope the Dominix does get one back, but with better bonuses. And we'll talk more about that later. As I said, there have been some controversies around this as well. Now, we are also going to have a look at these, see if I can pronounce this right, Exogenous Light Radiation Recombination Device, which, whoo, is a mouthful to say. These basically allow you to modify the nanocore after you've fitted it, but we'll cover those later on in this video because we have been given some of those for free as part of our daily login rewards. Now, at the bottom here as well, we have all of the different Breeze nanocores. These are currently available for every frigate and destroyer in the game, except for the faction frigates and destroyers. Sadly, there are no Tramiel or crew or Breeze cores or anything like that. In fact, there are no nanocores at all for any of the faction ships, which is disappointing. But again, we'll talk about that later in the controversy section. Now, basically, the Breeze cores are something we will talk about later, but I just want you to know that they are here. You can also get these through those boxes that I showed you earlier on, though the boxes will give you a random one. This means that if you get one you don't want, you can probably sell it on the market. And quite frankly, some of them are ridiculously expensive on the market. I think people are just kind of going, I'm the only person selling this on the market, therefore it's going to be 400 million. Like, for crying out loud, there are going to be tons of these that people don't want later on. Um, I think it's a, just, it, it's a bit expensive at the moment, but hey, we'll talk about that more later. What we're going to uh, have a look at first of all then is the thermomagnetic nanocore here for the Hurricane. Now this is the fitting I use on the Hurricane in live. Um, this is slightly higher DPS than my personal Hurricane on the account that here I've got uh, just a full brace of everything. Everything is maxed out. I've got all full max skills etc because I am on Fulmination. What I want to draw your attention to, though, is down here in the bottom left. We still have our usual skin menu. You'll notice that every ship now has a basic skin named after whichever shipyard, etc., built it. So here for the Hurricane, it's Minmatar. If you're looking at like the 
Stellar Coast Covert Ops, it's Fuck a Tribe. Um, I like the fact that we now get things like the Angel Veteran, the Gisty one, that is amazing to me, I've been waiting for that for so long, or one that makes you look like you're part of the Angel Cartel. But then we of course have the Thermomagnetic Storm one here as well. And we're going to talk about this one. This is a gorgeous looking skin. Absolutely beautiful skin. And, and basically, this is the one tied into the thermomagnetic nanocore. This other icon here on the bottom left, though, is the new one that we're going to talk about in regards to nanocore. So let's tap that and have a look. Now, when you come into the nanocore menu here, you get a little bit of a look at the skins that you're checking out and the nanocore itself. So here we're looking at the Hurricane Angel NCO core. You can tap on the left-hand side to get an idea of the different uh, attributes that this will apply to the ship if you were to fit this nanocore. And you'll see they come in different quality. So here we have the Hurricane Angel NCO, which is a purple quality one. It gives us a, cho a choice here of one main attribute, either 16.8% cannon damage, 16.8% missile or torpedo damage, and 19.8% flight velocity. Now, the reason that that has the choice there is because, I mean, yeah, okay, you're probably not going to use the missile torpedo damage on a hurricane, but if you have the Cyclone Angel NCO, for example, then you're probably not going to want to go for the cannon. The bonuses are currently tied to the name of of the particular core. So the Angel NCO core, whatever ship it is on, has these particular bonuses. You also have secondary attributes available as well um, that are randomized. And you'll see that there are all kinds of different things that you can get on here from warp speed to turret tracking, additional power grid for your ship, this kind of thing. Now, if we collapse this one, you'll see that if I go across here to the Hurricane Thermomagnetic Storm Core, because I currently have this in the station hold that I'm at, I can actually activate this and fit it to the ship. Before I do so, though, let's just have a look at the abilities it has. This applies to any ship that has the Thermomagnetic Storm Core available. It's either 12% turret damage, 15% additional turret thermal damage, or 15% additional turret electromagnetic damage. And that 15% turret EM means that lasers will burn through shields at a rate that you will not believe, but it also means that cannons or railguns can specialize in hunting shields as well if you don't want to just go for the straight up 12% turret damage. I haven't run the numbers yet on which way is going to be better. So let's actually hit fit on this. Now a guy called Zeppeli comes along and starts to telling, uh, tell us, you know, congratulations, you've got a nano core. let's start fitting it. So you tap on the screen and you get to pick one of the different options. You can see here it is just one of these, select main attributes, we're going to go for that one there and have the 12% flat turret damage. It'll then say that now you can customize your ship's appearance, which we're going to do. We're going to tap through onto appearance customization, selecting that 12% turret damage. Now, here we actually get an interesting choice. Here you can see that you can it's going to have the thermomagnetic storm built into this particular nano core, and let's be fair, that is absolutely gorgeous. But you don't have to go for it. If you want to apply the thermomagnetic storm nano core without using the thermomag uh, thermomagnetic storm skin, you can do. You can set it as the basic Minmatar. You can change it to the Angel Veteran or the Dawn or any of these if you have them. And there is genuinely a reason why you might want to do this. I recently got the Thrasher um, Breeze core, for example, and I don't like the luminescent purple of it. I really like the Halorange skin. Skin, so I put it onto the Halorange skin and used that. More interesting as well, once you confirm which one you want, you get the capability of actually recoloring the entire ship and the skin. So if we turn the saturation and the values here right up, you can see we can add like a purple accent around here, we can go into a second colour, which is currently another black section, we can add, let's go for a bright blue, just to showcase how ridiculously cool this customization is. Now let's take this one up to a deep red. There we go, let's take that to a deep red. And you'll see I'm messing this up and it looks utterly hideous. Let's not, you know, let's not kid ourselves. But it is an epic level of customization that you get to these cores and all kinds of different crazy things you can do with it. Here we are, and then we go for the luminous effect. Let's go for a nice lurid pink. That's not pink. That's blue. That's pink. There we go. Anything else we can add? No, we're going to save and return, and it's going to look utterly hideous like this, but hey, that's the entire point. Now, once you've checked everything here, we can have a little look, and we can fit that membrane, and bam, we now have one 
ugly ass hurricane fitted with a thermomagnetic storm skin that looked awesome and I have now utterly obliterated it. But you see the stats have gone up here because we now have, in addition to our usual stats on the actual ship itself, we now have the, thermo, uh, the thermomagnetic nano core giving our, us these additional bits here. So we've got that 12% turret damage plus a load of additional secondary abilities added on here. And yeah, if I come out of the menus now, look at that. It is hideous. Actually, it's, it's fairly cool. I don't know, maybe you might be into Lumo Rave and that kind of thing, at which point that is how that is how a nano core works, and you can fit a ship um, and sort of customize that skin to look however the heck you want it. This is not how I will actually make my hurricane look once I achieve this on live. But the point is, you can. As I mentioned earlier, the application of nano cores into Eve Echoes hasn't been without its controversies. So let's start off by having a look at the Kaldari Raven as an excellent example of this. If you are a Kaldari Raven pilot, you might be forgiven for wanting to just check out what your nano cores do. You spot that really cool thermomagnetic storm core, and you say to yourself, wow, that looks really cool. I can't wait to apply that to my ship. What are its attributes? Yeah, there's still turret damage, turret thermal damage, and turret electromagnetic damage, which does nothing for a Raven, which is a ship that is heavily dependent on using large missiles. Like, if you're fitting turrets to a Raven, you are flat out doing it wrong. I cannot think of any particular reason to ever fit turrets to a Raven other than for the lols. Which means, okay, if you're going to use a thermomagnetic storm core, you're still going to get that really cool appearance, and you're still going to get some probably quite nice bonuses. I mean, heck, let's have a look and see if we can get some of these, because some of these do come out with things like missile. There we are, missile torpedo damage, large combat drone thermal damage, uh, medium missile torpedo electromagnetic damage, and large rabbit missile damage. That's, you know, those are nice attributes to get there as secondary bonuses. But the primary bonuses aren't available, and that does really suck if you are a, a Raven pilot looking forward to using this core. And unfortunately, it's not just the Raven. If I were to pull up the Condor Interceptor here, and I do apologise for the load and display times here on Fulmination, for some reason Fulmination runs really, really slowly for me, so let's load into the Condor Interceptor and have a look at its nano cores here, because remember, the Breeze nano core is currently available in the game. But again, it's turret damage, power grid requirement, and turret capacitor consumption. Does nothing for a Condor. Basically, at this point, if you are flying missile or drone ships, the nano cores currently available in the game do nothing for you. That's not to say that they won't ever do anything for you. For example, the Condor Gurstus Recruit Corps gives you the option to add 12 missile or torpedo damage there. Um, heck, you can add in railgun damage if you wanted to f fit that uh, Gurstus Recruit Corps onto something like a, uh, like, like a Merlin. Or you can have drone DPS on there if you wanted to fit it to something like... Um, Okay, yeah, I can't think of what you'd actually want to fit that onto, because um, the Tristan doesn't get the Gurusus, the Tristan gets the uh, Serpentis, which does, admittedly, have drone DPS and railgun damage, so you could choose those. But if you're a drone or a missile pilot, the currently available Breeze cores are not going to do anything for you, neither are the Thermomagnetic Storm cores. Now, there are two things to be said about this. Now, before Nano Cores launched, before the Exploration Update launched, NetEase did put out an alert saying that unfortunately due to the situation in Guangzhou with the uh, the Indian COVID variant being there and sort of a second lockdown happening, all staff had been pulled away to go and get COVID testing. Now this meant that the exploration update was delayed from launching on Wednesday to launching on Friday and unfortunately the team responsible for the nano cores also got pulled away um, at the last minute on Friday so nano cores did not get full implementation into the game. This means we've got little situations like this. We are expecting to see a couple of little problems and glitches and hitches here and there, but it's it's still not fun. I and I accept it's still not fun. Now they have also put out a second update, which says, and I'll put this on screen now, we have recently received a lot of your feedback on the turret damage bonus on the thermomagnetic storm core, which is inconsistent with ships that have missile launcher and drone bonuses. We initially had two reasons for implementing it this way. We wanted each type of nanocore to correspond to a set of unique appearance and unique attribute bonuses, which can improve the recognition of each type of nanocore. Even if the number of different nanocores increase in the future, players can still remember the appearance and attributes of specific nanocores as soon as they see the name. 
Secondly, we also wanted to have more players have access to nano cores, so we had the thermomagnetic storm nano core available on many different ships. We realised that some of these bonuses didn't particularly help a ship besides an appearance change. Our future nano cores will have more relevant attribute bonuses for the ships they can be applied to. Considering that nanocores just launched and are thus an extremely new part of New Eden, we will also be working on additional designs for specific ships, and we'll also have nanocores for more specialised ships. Some examples, interdictors, logistics, and industrial. Thanks everyone for your patience and support as we further improve the design direction of nanocores. And I think that's a fair point to make, that... Ultimately, they want all Guristus veteran cores to have this exact same profile here. They want all Condor, uh, all of the Monsoon cores to up laser, railgun, or cannon damage. So, yeah, there are some that don't make sense on putting on a particular ship. You might like the look of this particular skin on the Condor, and you might put it on there, but you're not going to get a stat bonus for it. The idea is that the Monsoon Core will always have these particular stats. The Gurusus Recruit Core will have these particular stats. The Breeze Core will have these particular stats. I'm just hoping that we get something like, I don't know, a Gust Core that has drone and missile option stats on it that helps out the Tristan and the Condor, the Korax, the Talwar, the Dragoon, the Algos, and that kind of thing there. As I said, once you get beyond these, yeah, the, the bonuses start making sense. Mostly, obviously, the, the, the monsoon is still a little bit like, what the hell's going on here? But, again, you would have like, a, not a hurricane, you can't really call it a hurricane storm core, but there we go. Um, you'd, you'd have something that goes alongside monsoon. Um, I don't know, think of another name that's not typhoon or hurricane. Some kind of storm there that's not already a Minmatar ship is my point. And again, Breeze Core could have Gust Core to give those bonuses, and I get the direction they were going. But for now, for now it does suck just a little bit if you're a missile or a drone pilot. But at least, hey, you've got one of the better weapon systems in the game, and hopefully they will be adding those soon. And yes, as mentioned, industrial ships also get a bit of a raw end of a stick. Who wants to be flying a Coveter or a Procurer with a cool thermomagnetic storm skin, which I think is the one it has? Let's have a quick look in the store there. There is one of the industrial ships has it down here I've got the Nereus and we've got the Procurer so yeah if you want a Procurer that looks as awesome as this and let's not lie that does absolutely look awesome then the stats are going to do nothing for you it is purely an aesthetic change and I get that there's a lot of industrial pilots a little bit sad about this that are basically saying yeah this ultimately once again industry is getting screwed over but we have known now from that update that there are going to be industrial specific nano cores in the future so i think considering the difficulty with the release the fact that the team had to be pulled away for testing at the last minute i think nano cores are still a good system it's problematic it's definitely problematic but fixes are on the way are you going to get the thermomagnetic storm core changed to have new bonuses no but you will get new nano cores later on that do specifically fit those bonuses which i suppose there that's the point when it comes down to it but hey that's just my thoughts and my opinions you know me i am an eternal optimist and hopeful player here i trust netties I think every time we've had a big problem, it does eventually get fixed. Sometimes not quite as big a fix as we'd like, cough, cough, uh, destroyers. I think sometimes there are, you know, are still fixes yet to come. Again, cough, cough, tier 10 covert ops destroyers and the storm, uh, these nano cores. But I have every faith that it will eventually be fixed in a meaningful and good way. So, you know, stay tuned. Look forward to having some unique skins for the Raven, for the Condor, for the Coveter. These kind of things that are going to make us turret pilots look at you and go, Oh, man, I wish I had the stats for that. And I think that's going to be the point. That there are going to be some of these that are four different ships. Just like, you know what? I would love... I would love the Hurricane to have a Blood Raider skin, but it's never going to happen really, is it? It's just not going to happen because that's not how things work. I would love my Executioner or my Crucifier to be able to look like it's part of the Angel Cartel, but again, it's not going to work. I think this is a cool system, but it's obviously going to have some sensible limitations to it, and I can't, see, I can't wait to see where they go with this in the future. I really like this, and I'm looking forward to seeing more of it. Anyway, folks, that is just my thoughts and opinions on the matter. Please do let me know yours in the comment section down below. I know you will anyway. But hey, otherwise, happy sailing and see you in New Eden.